we are the, the church of stop shopping, but we, we tend to, uh, uh, we're sort of post-religious. We tend to take on different names for different situations. Uh, today we're the church of the promised land beyond dirty coal. Amen. 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 I, I, should have, I should have consulted the members of my church before I... Uh, am I forgiving? No, right. yes, yes. I, I don't mean to be arrogant. I just went out there. Amen. Over the over the last year, uh, kind of working another angle, uh, we've been taking Appalachian soil yes. that has been given to us uh, by the people who live in the valleys yeah. beneath the mountains in in West Virginia and uh, East Kentucky, and Tennessee, uh, where. The coal companies have blown up the mountains in that deadly, devilish process known as mountaintop removal. And they've, they've come to us with this wounded mountain soil. And then we are receiving our instructions from Rainforest Action Network and Greenpeace and Sierra Club, getting the latest intel on what New York banks are financing these coal companies. Yeah. We've gone into the lobbies of J.P. Morgan Chase yeah. and the UBS company from Switzerland, a Union right. Bank of Switzerland. We brought, the, we brought the mountains into the lobbies of the banks that are moving billions of dollars into the pockets of Massey Energy and Arch Coal and the International Coal Group who blow up these mountains in Appalachia that are almost 300 million years old, the oldest land that we have in the Americas. The truth, Diverse ecosystems that give us life. Yes. They give us the water in the eastern seaport that we drink and use to nourish. Yes. Blow up those mountains and push what they call the overburden into the valleys on either side using the suspension of the Clean Water Act to cover up the streams there in Appalachia. More than 2,000 miles of streams have been buried by this mountaintop removal process. It was surprising. There was something very powerful, something very poignant about these little mountains that we built in these lobbies. The mountains are alive. The mountains are speaking through us. All right. We are only translating the life that lives here on this planet. We are only, we are only getting it as a loan, as a gift. And it, if, we, if we just struggle forward trying to do the right thing, all we can do is hope that we live up to that assignment that has been given to us by life on this earth. Yes. Life on this earth. It's a holy thing. It's, 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 it's a spiritual thing. It's a thing that we don't know completely. Science doesn't know it completely. We shouldn't pretend that we know it completely. It's fabulous. It's the fabulous unknown. It's the fabulous unknown. And we feel it in our bodies. We know it's there. We can't explain it. Our life is given to us by these mountains. We have the gift of that life. Try to stutter our way forward towards these ATMs and just meet people as they go and, and give their hard-earned cash to somebody like Chase Bank that, you, that uses it to blow up these mountains. And Greenpeace, Greenpeace confronting, confronting these whalers, confronting all over the world, confronting this, this hardware, these Woo! industrial monuments that come toward us, that try to, try to persuade us that corporate profits is the only God that's left. Greenpeace, we follow your example. Yeah. We would like to be an urban version of you. Amen. Praise be. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you. We ask the life on earth. We are called upon by you to, to be courageous now. Cour courageous in a way that we will be counterintuitive for us. We can't continue the way we have, we've been going. Dirty coal power is out of the question. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Over. Nuclear power is out of the question. Yes. We're confronted by 
The leaders of nation states, the leaders of the corporations, the leaders of the big institutions that are supposed to be leading us, were confronted by their silence. There's a hush across the world. But you are not silent, life on earth. The fabulous unknown, yes. you are not silent. That's right, I hear it. You're expressing something to us every day with these natural, what so-called natural disasters. You're expressing, you're flooding, you're whirling, the wind, the ocean. We feel your language coming to us. You're reaching out to us. The notion that you would be intelligent, that you would be a living being, that you would be communicating to us, that's a strange thing. We've got to change to hear you. We've stopped listening to you since, since the Industrial Revolution began. But now we're trying to break through. We pray to you. Help us to hear you. And let us know what, what we must do, that courage we must have to risk our lives for your life. For your life. Life-alleluia.